CCR fan like I am and this is a great beginner song because it only uses three simple chords and those chords are going to be the D chord, the A chord, and the G chord and we're going to use these throughout the song and we're going to keep it very simple so that you can start having fun with this song right now. So there's two sections to this song, the verse and the chorus. So let's start off with our verse section and the strumming pattern we're gonna use here. And I'm gonna show you a different strumming pattern that you can use for the chorus. Now, because this is a beginner version of the song, we're just gonna keep it very, very simple. So the chord progression, the order in which the chords are played is a D chord for four counts. And then we have an A chord for two counts, a G chord for two counts, and then a D chord again for two measures or eight counts total. So there's a lot of D in these verses. So if you need practice on that D chord, this is gonna be a great song to work that out. So we're gonna keep this very simple. Like I said, we're just gonna do four down strums on our D chords, okay? Because each one of those is a full measure, four counts. When we get to the A chord, we're just gonna do two down strums. And when we get to the G chord, same thing. We're just gonna do two down strums. Keep it super, super simple here in the beginning. So we're gonna do one, two, ready, and we got I see a bad moon rising. Three, four, one, two, three, one more time. I see three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, of course, I slowed it down a little bit just so you guys could hear the count. If we were playing it up to full speed, it would sound a little bit more like this. I see a bad moon rising. Ready? I see trouble along the way. So what I would recommend for this verse is just get your counting down first. Take it slow. If you need to play it slow like the way I did the first time, play it slow and then pick up speed. I know everyone wants to go really, really fast in the beginning, but it's better when you're learning about timing to go slow, get the timing down, and then speed it up. So now let's talk about what we're gonna do in the chorus section of the song. So the great thing about this chorus is we don't have any split measures. Everything's gonna be played for a full measure, but the chord progression does switch up a bit. So there's gonna be a little bit more movement in our chords. So we have a double G, a double D, an A, G, and a D, D. That is the full progression for the entire chorus section. Now let's talk about a way we can spice up our strumming pattern just a little bit here. So the strumming pattern I'm gonna show you for this section is very similar to what you were just doing. We're just gonna add in one up strum, okay? So it's gonna sound like this. So what am I playing? I'm going one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And that's down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. Now the reason I put the up strum between the three and the four is because when you're a beginner, you sometimes have trouble changing those chords very quickly. And if you put an up strum after the four, it means you have to change your chords even quicker. So sometimes it's nice to put these up strums before the four. So if we were gonna take this chorus section out and apply that strumming pattern, it would sound like this. Don't go around tonight. Cause bound to take your life. There's a bad moon on the rise. So let's really focus in on this timing now. I'm just gonna do a quick playthrough of the verse and the chorus. Play along with me if I'm going too fast. You can always slow down the settings cog down there to slow me down. All right, we're gonna start right at the verse. Ready? One, two, three, four. I see bad moon rising. One, two, three, four. I see trouble. 
Now, if you're a beginner to late beginner player and you really enjoy CCR, then I have a really amazing down on the corner lesson over here where I'm going to show you how to play that intro bass line step by step. It's a lot of fun. Go join me over in that lesson.